and the field at the World Cup is too competitive for a mistake like that to hold a top place, which, as it should be. So, so Stephanie Horn, could she find herself back on top of a World Cup podium? We shall see. Oh, no, we won't. Uh, unless she can do something very special, that is a two-second penalty, and uh, that is going to be very hard for her. However, we're looking at Claudia Zwolinska currently in third with two touches. So it's if Steffi only has one touch and delivers the same run or slightly better than Claudia, she will she will slot in ahead. There's some space for that third place. Absolutely, absolutely. What I yeah, exactly. I don't think she can win a, win the gold now no, with a, with a no, touch no. because Lilik was just too smooth and too slick on this course. Horn now though she has to dig deep and oh, she's gone too deep there as well. So. Yeah, that wasn't a very fast up. So now she's really going to work hard to try and get a minor medal, and, and I, she just doesn't look very smooth at the yeah. moment, does she? Well, that's sort of her style, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she she's a puller. She she'll she'll be giving it. Um, she doesn't always necessarily look super smooth or necessarily look super fast, but she puts down very competitive times with, with the style that is particular to her. So. so Stephanie Horn from Italy, she's the last paddler on the course. Opting for the S option, which I'm not sure if we saw. I can't remember now. A few of the men did it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, so definitely out of the running for a gold, you would think, but look, she could still challenge for a bronze, even for, maybe even, even a silver. silver. If she but she's going to have to pull. 106. She's 106 she's got to go under. That is the time of Victoria Wolfart, who's sitting in the silver medal position at the moment. I think she's Let's going to be very close. She's going to go wow. under, I think. There we yes, go, into second is. place. Wow. Her she helmet's be, still skewed. Her <laughs> helmet's still skewed with. It's a new trademark leader. She, goes, she heard it. She goes, oh, I'm going to straighten that up. The commentator's giving me a hard time for the helmet. Uh, she's pretty happy. Look at that. I love that. She knows that she hasn't done the best run. Um, but she's done a good enough run to pick up the silver medal. Sometimes good enough is good enough. It really, really is. Uh, but look, let's not take anything away from our gold medalist. Absolutely Elena. not, no. Elena put a really, really nice run together. She stayed clean. I think that was key to the gold today. And look at Vicky Wolfhard. I don't think she's going to pinch herself. She yeah. can't believe that uh, she's done it at 106. And, and, but look, you know, it's a tough course. And as we said, Lois, that uh, getting the time out there is important and it was a as it turns out it was a very competitive time so but uh yeah. there we go we'll see there steffi i thought she was struggling oh yeah, big big touch there i thought she was struggling mid-course but you you called it right she um she knew what she was doing she had it under control she was pulling hard and the back half of her race was enough to get her into that um silver medal position so well done to stephanie horn but uh did an early challenge for this season being thrown down by Eleanor Lillick. Yeah, well, and congratulations to all 10 of those athletes and everybody else. There was some very nice paddling out there. Thank you, Laura. So let's okay, have a Okay, Elena, to our winner. congratulations. You've won